my role and where we're focusing is trying to put the patient at the center of everything that we do. So it's about how we design protocols, how we plan protocols, how we execute on those protocols, and then finally how we wrap up those protocols and report the results back. So really patient centricity is putting the patient at the heart of each of those elements of, of trial conduct. So when I think about patient-centric drug development, I first think about what our objectives are in the industry. Fundamentally, we're looking to bring new therapies and treatments to improve the human condition. In order to do that, every aspect of drug development needs to be patient-centric. How do we conduct research from the outset that has a strong focus on the patient itself? How can we find the right patients? How can we get those patients enrolled in trials? And then their journey and their experience through that clinical research, how do we ensure we focus on that? So it, it's a combination of process, it's a combination of technology, um, but it's also, from my perspective, empowerment as well for patients and investigators who ultimately have to build collaborations and relationships with patients. If we look at personalized medicine, then we are also moving from mass screening, so to speak, to the more individualized patient. And that again also calls that you need to identify sometimes patients with certain traits within a certain condition because as the word says, you want to individualize your therapy and to see the outcome of that. So wearables is going to be a big topic uh, moving forward and that can be anything from uh, a t-shirt that measures your activity levels or your body temperature um, to glasses or to contact lenses that measure uh, glucometer readings, uh, so glucose levels in your, in your um, blood. Some of the ways that we're engaging patients early in the process start actually early in the drug development stage. So we're putting together drug development plans. We're actually reaching out and talking to physicians and their patients. By engaging the patient now, we have a better appreciation for why they would be interested in the protocol, how they would be able to participate, and how we can ultimately collect data that enables us to bring the new therapy to them.